this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to uh, show you how to work with our new tech EA-03100AP uh, which is a three head pneumatic uh, grommet press machine uh, but I'm going to show you today how to do the number 12 curves and grommets. The number 12 are a most common uh, side of grommets for curtains. They're number 12 meaning one nine sixteenth of an inch inside hole and outside is about two inch. Very popular metal uh, they come in different type of colors uh, uh, and this is regular one. We also have 12 L or 15 which is jumbo. But again most of people use this number 12 which is uh, uh, one nine sixteen. We're gonna put the grommet on using our pneumatic three head machine. Again, new tech E-03100 AP. And as you see right here, there are three heads for dies. We're gonna be using only two of them. The left one is the one to make the hole. And the right one is the one that would put the grommet on. This is actually going to a customer today and we thought, you know, we're gonna make a video so it would be good for you too, for our customers and also for our uh, and, uh, the person that bought this machine. The machine that will receive will be assembled the way you see, head, table, legs, and you have the electronic pedal right here. Uh, it used 110 volt only for the switch back here and for the laser right here. There is a laser, laser right here and there is an on and off switch right here. When I turn it on, it would be both LED lamp and the laser would come on. Now, in this case, the laser would not help us so much because this is such a huge grommet, we don't need laser to tell us where to go. But if you have smaller uh, application, rivets, uh, snaps, smaller eyelets, then you could use this one and it would tell you where to go. The head rotates, and when it rotates, it tells you, you see it right here, you have the arrow, it tells you that this is in a press position, this is in a press position, and now this is in press position. Uh, again, the, uh, the machine, the on and off switch here is only for the electricity. You need air uh, compressor that 150, uh, the most common size of uh, air for this machine. So um, there is three places you could adjust the air from the valve by the compressor itself. You could adjust the air right here. Uh, and uh, it would, uh, right now it, I think it's on uh, nine. But you could adjust by pushing down. It will add and by pulling up it will uh, lose air. So if you want to add air, turn to the right, to the left you would lose air. Uh, again, the machine comes complete the way you see it right here. Uh, there is a finger guard right here. So whenever you want to do something, you got to press this thing down. Right now the machine is on, but it will not work. This thing has to come down. This is a finger guard and then as you see right now, only the middle one comes down because this is engaged right here. You see the arrow is engaged, but when we want to go turn and do the hole, we're going to go turn to the left, push this, push this down, and again, with this machine, you need an air compressor. Uh, and I have some fabric here. This is a denim jeans. I'm going to do double layer, and I'm going to put the way you do it. You hold the fabric. You could put this down with your hand and make a hole. I'm gonna do another one. Make a hole. Now, again, you could also make a adjustment from here too. You could turn this lower or higher to make a, if you see you can make a hole, you could bring this lower so you have a nicer hole. Uh, both from here to adjust the air from the compressor and right here. Now, 
I have something that is really tough to make a hole. And here it is. It's like inside there, it's, it's this shiny stuff. So, now, when you make your hole, you turn this back to the grommet position, and then you see, now, the way it works, now there is different ways of uh, making this die. We could make the die that the male goes on the bottom, we could make the die that the female goes on the bottom. The way we did it now, the washer on the bottom, you put your fabric on, you put the grommet on this type of die, you put the grommet upside down. Okay, press down, bring it up, done. Now you see I have a little bit of fabric here, it's just because I didn't adjust it really good. If I adjust it, when I go ahead, if I bring these two layers together, wash it on the bottom, fabric, and I gotta make sure that this goes through at 100%, meaning that the grommet goes through the fabric and it's all even right here. Then you put it down, And all you have to do, press the finger guard, press, done. Beautiful. One more time. Wash it on the bottom. Make sure you, I do the grommet evenly inside. And then, and upside down. Put it in there, press, done. You could do, we could make dies for this machine for any type of grommet, any type of pressure, any any closure that you have, the grommet doesn't have to come from us. You could buy your grommet from any place and we buy the machine from us, we make you the die. Uh, the dies are made in LA, right here in Los Angeles. Um, Eyelets, rivets, grommets, snaps, these are curtains. So it's really, really heavy, and you really need a heavy machine to do it. And uh, this is what we do, this is our specialty at goldstartool.com. Please like our videos, write us a comment, follow us, and share our links. And write me down if you have any questions, and I'll be more than happy to uh, answer all your questions and do any type of video that you want us, and you want us to do for you. So wash it on the bottom, grommet on top, make sure it's all adjusted, press down and here you go. Beautiful. Thank you for watching. This is our website, goldstartool.com.